So what I've decided to look at first is the Ecossaise in E flat by Beethoven, which is the A1 piece. Um, now, when you look at it first glance, it looks all very square. The left hand just moves in crunch. It's all the way through. And in the right hand, you've got a mixture of crotchets and quavers. It doesn't look terribly interesting at first glance. And indeed, if you play it squarely, it's going to be really quite heavy and dull. So we want to avoid heaviness and just give this, this piece some flexibility. This is the piano section. Little time there. to move a little bit so that it starts off a little under the tempo and moves forwards and then comes back. So this kind of ebb and flow would be important in, in, in this piece. Otherwise, as I say, it's going to sound rather square. Let's look at a few small things that I can just pull out and highlight for you now. Just about some ways that we can uh, overcome some problems that we might find technical problems, um, practice problems. So the first one is in bar one, where we've got this E flat major chord broken up. And you notice there what I need to do in order to keep free is I need to move my hand rather than locking the hand into this position, which is immediately going to cause me tension. I do the opposite of that. I think of moving through a closed hand. So my hand is closed and then, you see how that works? So that's one thing. Very expressive here in those appoggiaturas. What I've done in bar 15, 16 um, through to 18, I've isolated those bars and made a Q spot, which is what I call a quarantine spot, just to solve a particular issue there. Let me show you slowly what has to happen. Quite a big position shift in both hands there. The right hand thumb has to go from this E flat to the B flat back to the C. At the same time as that's happening, the left thumb has to move from this E flat to this G. So there's two kind of big movements that happen at the same time. So if we isolate those four bars and just work very carefully, slow motion. Stopping first there until we're really secure with that manoeuvre and then we can add the last part of that. We can also stop um, bar by bar, we can make bar chains when we're happy with that, when we're happy with that, see how this works, and then from bar chains to two bar chains. And little touches of pedal, I think, here would be appreciated and appropriate. Touches, so maybe on the first crotchet. But the left hand, of course, we can block out in octaves before we do anything else. So that's my A piece.